I recently got my hands on a Fuji X100V which was a dream for me and I cannot wait to show you in this video the stunning portraits that I took at a breathtaking wedding in Italy. Stick around until the end if you also want a sneak peek into my editing process. So the most important photos in a wedding catalog are the formal portraits or couple portraits as you would like to call them. So when editing wedding catalogs, I usually start from there. Not only because these are the most significant photos in a wedding album, but also because these provide great references for skin tones, especially when moving into collections with a worse lighting situation. This could be dark reception images that were shot without flash, or this could be indoor getting ready sessions or also poorly lit church ceremonies. I also wanted to show you these images first because if you're a photographer, I know you are in love with the golden light as I am and as we all are as portrait photographers, wedding photographers, photo editors, photo enthusiasts, whatever you are, I know you love that light. So I captured these dreamy, beautiful, gorgeous images and I wanted to show you this first. <laughs> about dreamy light I wanted to move forward with the aperitivo photos that I took there the light was absolutely stunning dreamy it was around 7 30 p.m on a July evening and they were enjoying Hugo's which is an alcoholic drink wine and spritz apple spritz there was a live music playing live band music playing in the background and I had a blast shooting um, the aperitivo time. One of my favorite portraits is the one with the point and shoot camera. There were a lot of guests that had had these point and shoot film cameras and I also took portraits for them with these cameras, which was extra, extra special. with the ceremony photos. I was basically hiding myself behind trees because Mario Casati, the professional photographer, was not needing my help during the ceremony photos. He was moving around and capturing that digitally, so he did not need my help because I was there assisting him loading and unloading film cameras for him and also preparing the camera for the shot. So, because as you know, weddings are very fast paced, so he did not have the time to also manage and set up the film camera for every single shot so I was doing that for him. We did not need film photos for the ceremony so I was hiding myself behind trees but I still managed to shoot with the X100V and I am in love with some of these portraits that I took and I even printed some of this. <laughs> Recently got a new printer, I'm going to do an in-depth video about it but I wanted to show you the portrait from the ceremony that I printed, which is this one. I printed so many more, but from other collections, this is the one that I most love about the ceremony. It's so special.
the Tite collection, I could have gone all out with shooting the interiors of the villa and also the garden because it's truly stunning. I only had limited time so I just took few detailed shots of the inside of the villa while groom and bride were getting ready and then I also shot the tablescape while they were getting ready after the aperitivo to move to the dinner and I also shot my favorite portraits of the villa of course at sunset because the light made it even more gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to tell you the name of the villa. The villa's name is Villa Rizzardi, which is located in the heart of the Valpolicella wine region in Italy. And again, it's stunning. As for the getting ready collection session, I shot both the bride and groom getting ready. The main photographer, the professional photographer Mario and his second shooter and the videographers taking photos and videos of them, which was very exciting to be behind the scenes. I have edited more than 800 weddings but this was my very first time being at a wedding, shooting a wedding, being there, being behind the scenes and I truly had such a great time that I left at reception time so when they were about to have dinner and I went to have a pizza with my family and I could not shut up about the day and how much fun I had and how much I loved it and how I wish that I will get the chance to do this more in the future, just assisting Mario or other photographers. It has been like a dream for me to spend time there, loading film cameras for him, unloading the film, just getting the camera ready for him to shoot with, so setting the right aperture and speed that he wanted to shoot at. And of course, I also had the time and his permission to shoot with my new X v since I wanted to test the raw files. As you know, I have already created a video where I was testing the JPEGs files during a camping trip in the Dolomites. And on this day, on this wedding day, I wanted 
that's the raw files but stay tuned because i just got back last night from another camping trip in the dolomites and i shot raw files with the fujifilm and i also shot 120 film with my mamiya 645 so i'm going to develop scan and edit the Mamiya 645, the 120 film myself and then I'm going to import in Lightroom the film scans and the raw files from the Fuji and I'm going to emulate with my Fuji raw files the look of the portrait 400 raw that I shot with the Mamiya 645. So I'm going to share more, I'm going to share more about that process that footage it was an adventure we were caught by a storm in the mountain it was wild so stay tuned for that video but also i'm going to share more about the editing process since i know that you might be interested in the film emulation or film matching process for this video and for these images i recorded a session of me when starting to edit in lightroom these images and more about my approach check that one out because it's already being uploaded while you're watching this and let me know if it is helpful if it's not let me know what could be more helpful for you in terms of film matching film emulation on all of the editing process i am more than willing to help thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one ciao i would say we were good together